art. It is the definition of visual apparel, which congresses an appeal for both aesthetic and self-pleasure. When we see art, we become art. We become entranced in a world of mystic and wonder, of depravity and desire. We see art, and we dream of a world beyond our own. Art of man, art of pig, art of a... Well, I'm not really sure what that is, but it certainly is art, nonetheless. Take a look at this magnum opus, a trail of lines and squiggles etched in an unparalleled and aimless inquiry of direction. See how you can't tell what this piece means, what it offers in suit, how it's so vague, how it's so horrible and meaningless, and in that itself, there is an offerment of meaning. That this piece really does mean something, simply because I have no idea what I'm looking at. And so am I just a fool who cannot comprehend what it is which lies before me? This piece is a true and undaunted masterpiece of abstract expressionalist art, and it was made by Atelia Andre, age two and then hung in a museum, praised by specters who incited that the artist must have been so an individual at a godly level of her craft, and not just a child. And then we have this piece, made by John Miro, a 90-year-old dead man. See how much a difference of skill makes. The elite versus the commoner, who reigns supreme in the eyes of- This fucking shit sells for 10k? 10k? Why? why? Did, what the fuck? Who would buy this? Who the fuck would buy this kind of art for more than five bucks? And I'm not even talking about the good kind of art. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh you know, that looks pretty, right? Y you might think that those look like uh, blood vessels or the city skyscrapers. You might be thinking there might have been some effort into these. Nope, it's just lines. This nigga just randomly dropping paint all around into lines. But he ain't being careful. He, he ain't being fucking precise. It was just random. He just did it all till he got bored. That's all this shit is. Jackson Pollock's expressionist works only sell for a shit ton because nigga died while he was young. They sold for shit before his death. Enough to make ends meet, sure, but barely anything at all compared to what a financially secure job gets ya. I'm rebelling against this system. Gamers rise! And so we can see that art is in the eyes of the beholder that all art is equal and beautiful, no matter how unappealing some may be to look at. All art is equal, except for some art, but that's because they hang in fancy museums, because they are very old, or were stolen a few times. So long as art has context behind it, it is a masterpiece. For example, there have been multiple attempts to steal the screen, and it has been stolen twice in its reign of proprietarial existence. And every single time it was stolen or attempted to be stolen, the overall price of the scream increased by tenfold. Because the scream was stolen a bunch of times, it is thus one of the most expensive art in the world, and thus true art true masterpiece, so long as a piece has context behind it. It thus is true art. Speaking of art, gamers, I'm announcing a Mr. Meat Man art contest. Send your submissions to Mr. Meat Man right here. At this, this here, look at email, look at the screen, look at this is the email to send it to. And the theme of the piece is, Draw, you can draw whatever. Halloween's coming up. You can make a scary piece. Ha ha ha. But also make sure Mr. Meat Man's in it. Looking cool. And it could be in color, black and white. You, you do whatever. You do you. Color is more likely to win though, because I mean, like, it's, it's all about like what's what's the coolest thing. And uh, what what do you win if you uh if 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 you win? Ah. Uh, 50 bucks. Get crack a lacking. I also made a Discord to keep up with the people. Check it out in the description below.